Okay, my question is, why was Monifa so adamant about getting Kanika out of the room that night? What was really her motive that whole night? Like, beforehand, what did her and Kanika really fall out about? What were the indifferences? Because we've all heard the stories about how Kanika had really started pulling herself away from those girls. And from my understanding, around this time, you know, they were just coming back on the scene, you know, trying to get back in good with Kanika. Now, that's just from my understanding. I don't know what y'all got, but that's what I got from the gist of it all. And they come from the family members as well as, you know, other stories that circulated in the early part of 2017. So, now here's the thing. I feel like whatever went down that night, Monifa was well aware of what was going on. Because we have different people in the statement saying that they saw Monifa carry Kanika out of the room. Irene on the video with Zach said that Monifa was the one that carried Kanika out of the room. And here in Irene's live, you hear her saying that her and Kanika finna go outside. And that's when Kanika goes on to talk about she's enjoying herself. And Irene is trying to, you know, persuade her to basically do something she don't want to do. She's telling her to, you know, have fun, enjoy herself. But in the process of all of this, where Irene is telling her to have fun and enjoy herself, and, you know, she's saying that they about to go outside, I'm taking it as she's talking to these guys because Irene just asked to do what he was about to do. And, you know, he was saying something, and then you hear Monifa talking about they about to go outside. So was Monifa trying to get Kanika outside with one of those particular guys? Like, did Kanika Loki have a crush on one of those guys? And then the other friend liked at her and was trying to shoot at her. And the other dude was like, well, I'm leaving. I don't know. But it, it seems like Monisha, Monifa was being real pushy, you know, in Irene's live. And so... We've heard the stories about her liking the guy, her wanting to go see one guy, and we all know how that go. So is this when that was happening or, you know, what was really going on? So remember the text message when um, it was like she was saying she was ready to go and then the other girl texts back, I told you it looked like his dick was little or whatever the hell it said. You know, so did or could it have been possible that Kanika, you know, really did try to dip off on her own because we heard that them girls say, you know, they thought that... Um, she might have dipped off with one of her friends or something. And then on the 911 call, the dispatcher trying to tell Teresa, well, maybe she's with a friend or whatever. You know, so could it have possibly been true that Kanika did try to dip off, you know, for a little while? Now, whether she made it back to the room or not is the question. Because some kind of way, this girl's shoes got dirty and... It, that didn't come from the hotel. The way those cleaning people was coming through that hotel all day, all night, all day, all night. No, I don't feel like her shoes got that dirty at the hotel. And the party wasn't that 
packed and that crunk where people would have been, you know, stepping on her shoe. I mean, she would have had to bend down on the ground, you know, laying sideways or something for the scuff marks to be on the side of the shoe like that. So I'm really trying to figure out when did she get out in some dirt, you know, and it's plenty of statements insinuating that this girl was outside whether it was willingly or unwillingly everybody seeming to try to put her as being outside or about to go outside or you know whatever the case may be now it's got to be some truth in her being outside somewhere because the evidence is on the shoes. Now, I feel like, you know, if this case would have been taken seriously and the forensics was done according to protocol, then it would have been dirt samples that would have been taken off the shoe and tested by nearby uh, soils and stuff from the hotel or wherever else she may have been that night to see where exactly did the dirt come from but i guess you know they didn't have enough money to go through that route or something i don't know because this whole thing was a sham this whole thing is a mockery and no protocol was followed in this case whatsoever from the physical forensics to the technical forensics none of this makes sense none of this lines up and for the most part the main things that don't line up and make sense were taken out by, you know, the hotel and the police is basically confirming that it's OK for the hotel to do so. Since, you know, nobody really put fire under the hotel about these edited videos, because in the beginning it was said to be footage of Kanika walking past the front desk. Now, if that is the case, who was walking with her before her or after her in the footage? And where did that footage just magically disappear to? I don't understand. But we do know at the end of the day, Monifa is the one said to have taken Kanika out of the room. And it seems like as soon as Monifa got to the hotel her main and only purpose was to get Kanika out of the room and it seems like she was getting Kanika out of the room to hand her off to some dude now did Monifa make it as far as to the lobby or outside with Kanika at first there was the story then all of a sudden it changed to no we left her by the door so if that's what they've been sticking with, then that would mean that Monifa and Shamaya basically handed Kanika off to somebody that was right outside the door in that hallway because I'm still not understanding how if Kanika, by the time after Ty's live, Kanika was so intoxicated that she had to lay down and go to sleep and Monifa had to pick her up told her out the room, realized they don't have the phone and whatnot, come back in. Now Kanika magically sobers up within a matter of seconds, makes her way a few feet to the elevators, press the button, press the button to go down and just have a joy walk throughout the hotel, walks herself in the freezer, locks herself in the freezer and purposely freezes to death because she would have had to turn the damn freezer on if, according to Rosemont, this was an unoccupied freezer. So, y'all going to give me a break here because it, it's like, it don't add up, but a lot of the stuff add up. So, now I'm asking... Why was Monifa so adamant on getting Kanika out of the room? Because if Irene's live came first and then she was still in there, according to Ty's live, if we're going to say that that's authentic and real, then that means Kanika had to go missing after his live. And Monifa was the one that took her out, which was trying to take her out ever since they got to the hotel and won something. So y'all get down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this. Peace.